In this video, we are going to walk through the basics of Google Drawings. So the easiest way to start is to go to your Google Drive. So we are going to go to our drive and click new in the upper left and then Google Drawings, since it's a lesser used uh, app, it is under more and then it's the one at the top. So we're gonna click that and it will open up a brand new drawing here in that kind of clear, transparent background space so we can make whatever we want, like uh, shapes. So we have our shapes menu here where we can choose from any of those um, kind of structural uh, shape options. And uh, we can um, use any of those. There's um, options to change the fill color and the border color so we can set up Kind of any of those um, formatting uh, features and uh, personalize any of the shapes that we would like to set. Um, another tool, so I'm just going to make another um, square here, but if I hold down shift, then it makes that perfect square or perfect circle. So we're going to get rid of these shapes. Um, I'll open up that menu again so you can see there's um, arrow options, there's call out shapes, and um, there's also some equations. We'll um, open up that in a second, but we're gonna add a call out uh, shape here as another example. Again, you can uh, change the fill color and the border color and width. And then there are those equation shapes as well. There's also under special characters where you can add the um, equation options. There's lots of different line types as well. This is nice for um, building interactive diagrams. And uh, so you can also free draw. So the scribble tool um, for line is um, a nice option for being able to free draw in um, a uh, Google drawing. So you can change the line type again and the line uh, um, width or um, the uh, weight of the line. Um, and again, there are uh, different types of lines and there's also text box uh, options with all the full formatting that you would uh, expect in a Google program. So we can change the font and all of the text formatting and you can add text anywhere uh, with the text boxes. And on uh, the teacher side, that is nice because you can add directions in the margins and then students can use text boxes within the um, canvas uh, for um, creating their drawing. You can add comments and you can resize that canvas in that lower right corner. Uh, so that is uh, helpful. And um, then there's uh, the tools you can arrange with layers. And uh, if you have something selected, you can change some of that formatting, those formatting options. And there are other ways that you can insert. So of course um, you can insert those images, but you can also insert tables and um, other structural uh, features like charts or diagrams or word art. Um, we'll go more in depth um, with some of the diagram options uh, in our uh, using Google Drawings in Google Classroom assignments uh, video if you want to check that out. But you can see over on the right, there's some of the uh, diagram templates that you can just automatically insert and uh, personalize in a Google Drawing. And then you can share um, directly just as any other Google file in the upper right corner. You can also download as different types of image files like a PNG, JPEG, or an SVG. So that is how the basics for how to use Google Drawings in um, Google.